Okay, welcome to metric conversion without math. That is, we're going to be going from one metric unit to another metric unit by moving the decimal point. Remember, this is problem number three and is made specifically for Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut, California. Let's review the six steps that you should go through to do this problem. Step number one, start with what you have. Know the unit and know where the decimal point is located for that unit. Step number two, you're going to draw yourself the number line. And now you're going to find that same decimal point in the starting problem on that number line. Step number three, write this number that you're given on the number line you just made. Step number four, find the desired unit, that is the unit you're looking for, on the number line. Step number five, find the decimal point for this new unit. And then step number six, fill in the blanks with zero. Okay, so let's get started with the problem. Here I've given you 6.2 mLs, and I want you to convert it to kiloliter, to liters, to centiliters, and to microliters. Okay, I'm going to go through each one individually. I want you to do it on your own first. So pause the tape, do it on your own, and then when you're ready, continue on to listen to the discussion and the solution. Okay, let's say we want 6.2 ml and we want to convert that to kiloliters. What do you do? Remember, step number one, start with what you have. What you have is ml. And what you see is there is already a decimal point in the problem that's given. Here it is, 6.2 ml. Now you go to the number line. This number line is already drawn for you. So go ahead and use it. But remember, on the test, you're going to have to make this number line yourself. Okay, so make sure you remember where the units go. So in the number line, you're going to find where your starting point is, which is here. Your starting point is going to be ml. When we are in this starting position, the decimal point for milli is understood to be to the right of that unit. That's always the answer, to the right. So milli decimal point is right here. I'm going to draw that in. Understand that this decimal point and this decimal point that you're given, 6.2, I know I've made an X so it's easier to see, but 6.2, that's the same decimal point. Okay, that's critical. Now, what I want you to do is bring this number into the number line. So, if that's the decimal point, one space to the left is the number 6. One space to the right is the number 2. Here's the decimal point. One space to the left is the number 6. One space to the right is the number 2. Okay, so that's how we write this number up here. Then the next step is find where you want to go. That is, what unit are you looking for to solve? Here, we want to go to the kilo liter. So this is the kilo column. Next step, find where the decimal point is for the kilo column. And in this, kilo column, remember the decimal point is always to the right. So here it is. The new decimal point is going to be here. Okay. Now what I want you to do is ignore this decimal point. It doesn't exist. Why? Because we're not interested in the one column. We're interested in the kilo column for this problem. So just ignore this decimal point and then you move on to step number six which is fill in the blanks with zero. Now we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So your answer is, I'm going to write it down here because that's a little too small for me to write. The answer is point one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five zeros. And 62. Remember, you can only have one decimal point. And here is the new decimal point because we're looking at kilo. Forget about this decimal point. It no longer exists because that decimal point is for the column milli. 
and the unit is KL. Okay, hopefully you got that answer. I'm going to now go to do the next problem. The next problem asked me to find 6.2 ml in the liter column. So the same thing. Starting point is ml, right? So here we are, the ml. Where's the decimal point? Here it is. It's already given. 6.2. Make your timeline. Go to your number line and figure out where you're at. So we are here. And the decimal point for this column will have to be here. One space to the left is the number 6. One space to the left, write the number 6. One space to the right is the number 2. One space to the right is the number 2. Next step, where do you want to go? You want to go to the leader column, so you want to be here. When we are in the leader column, the new decimal point is to the right. So the new decimal point is already written for you. That's the decimal point we want. I'll make it darker. And the last step is fill in the blanks with zero. So here we have two blanks. And your answer is this. So let me write the answer. Point. Zero, zero, six, two, liter. Okay, so the answer is point zero zero six two liters. I'm writing this answer down here for you to see. That's how you do that problem. I hope you got it right. Let's move on to the next problem. Now I want you to take six point ml and bring it to cl, which is centiliter. Okay, go through the same six steps. I know it's monotonous, but I want you to get so used to doing this that you don't even have to think twice anymore. Okay, all right, so start with what you have. What you have is ml. Where's the decimal point? It's already given. So here's the decimal point, and your unit is ml. Next step, draw your number line. Okay, draw the number line. And then with the number line you just drawn, I want you to find your starting point. Your starting point is here in ML. When we are in the ML column, where is the decimal point for this ML? Well, the decimal point is always to the right. So this is the same decimal point as this. Okay. Next step, bring this number into your number line. So what you do is one Space to the left is the number 6. Here's the decimal point. One space to the left is the number 6. One space to the right is the number 2. One space to the right is the number 2. Next step. Find where you want to go. That is, we want to look for the answer in CL. So on your number line, here is the centiliter column. Okay? Centi would be in this column. Here we are. When we are in this column, where is the decimal point? Remember, always to the right of that column. So when we're in this column, the new decimal point is going to be here. Now, the last step is to fill in the blanks with zero. Well, in this case, there are no blanks. So the answer is point sixty-two. Okay, because there are no blanks to fill with zero. And you might say, well, what about this decimal point? Just ignore it. Okay, just ignore this decimal point. Why am I saying to ignore it? Because this decimal point only applies when you are in this column. And we are not in this column, it doesn't exist. We are only interested in this column, which means that's the only decimal point we worry about. Okay, I hope we got that right. Let's move on to the next problem. Next problem, I want you to take milliliters and turn it into microliters, okay, convert to microliters. So, let's go through the same six steps. What do we have to start with? Milliliters, okay. Where is the decimal point to begin with? Right here. Here's the decimal point, 
we starting with ML. Draw your number line. Okay, so here it is. You have to draw this. It won't be provided for you. So make sure you memorize this number line. Next step. Find where this decimal point is on the number line. Well, we have MLs. Go find it. Here it is, ML. Where is the decimal point within this column? To the right. So in this column, the decimal point is here. Understand that this decimal point and this decimal point is the same point. Next step, bring this number into your number line. So if this is a decimal point, one space to the left of the decimal point is the number 6. Here's the decimal point. One space to the left is the number 6. And one space to the right is the number 2. Here's the decimal point. One space to the right is the number 2. Now, next step. Find where you want to go. You want the microliter column. Find that on your number line. Microliter is all the way over here. Okay. When you are in this column, you have to find where the new decimal point is going to be. The new decimal point in this column is always to the right. So this is the new decimal point. Okay. And of course, the last step is to fill in in the blanks with zero. The blanks in between is zero. So the answer is 6,200 microliters. I hope you got that right. That's the end of this problem set. You can move on to problem set number four for more practice.